Introducing Entertainment Dissected with your host, Joe Socrates. Welcome to ED, the show where love is in the air moments before it hits a Kleenex. By the way, how are all you No Nut November guys holding up? Yeah, that make you think about it? <laughs> Speaking of love, Keanu Reeves is making headlines since he started dating someone publicly for the first time in 18 years. The story everyone is fixating on, however, is that his new girlfriend is a mere nine years younger than him, instead of the requisite 29. Expect to see an uptick at Google searches for Alexandra Grant Feet, you weirdos. It is liberating to be able to support the film. Uh, moving on. Speaking of old white dudes, Stanley Kubrick is promoting Dr. Sleep, the sequel to his hit film, The Shining, on Twitter this month. Okay, that's not super newsworthy. Until you consider he's been dead for 20 years, which is seven years longer than Twitter has actually been a thing. Looks like we found yet another proud puppet American. And finally, Terminator's Dark Fate ended up being at the box office, it seems, posting a measly $29 million opening for the 35-year-old franchise. At this rate, the film is looking to post a $120 million loss overall, which will put this series on ice for a while. You could say the financial loss is akin to taking a hydraulic press to the T-800 of this IP. I'm Joe Socrates, and you can always count on me to ask the hard questions. Questions like... Whatever happened to John and Kate plus eight? Eh, whatever. So that's your Entertainment Dissected for the week! All right, print it. I'm done. I'm getting out of here. Give me to my trailer. Ah!